Hi, my name's Rhi. I'm 27 years old and I had emetophobia for as long as I can remember. My youngest memory was probably about three years old of remembering being terrified of seeing someone be sick. I have worked through the Cure Your Emetophobia and Fried book and this is my testimonial video to say that I am over my emetophobia. So I'll start with just a bit of sort of story about my metaphobia, how it developed and what things I tried um, to get over in the past. I feel this is important so you can, when I talk about the five, you can see and hear the difference in my life to make it make you believe how much this book will change your life. So um, as a child, I was always terrified of other people being sick. I wasn't originally scared of myself being sick as well. I just had this immense fear. I'd experienced this immense terror if I saw someone be sick. It was just seeing the sound, the noise, everything would just terrify me. And my parents took me to some child therapists when I was younger um, to try and help. I don't think it really did a lot. I was so young I probably didn't really understand why I was feeling that way in the first place. I think there wasn't really an awful lot of therapists that I think realistically could do to help. Um, when I was about nine or ten my parents got divorced, had quite a nasty divorce and that made my phobia very bad because I was having stresses in my life anyway. I remember when I hit about the age of 11 and there were still issues going on with the divorce, 11 or 12, I was so scared to go to my dad's after school because my brother uh, would was going to be there and he always played football on that night and quite often he would be poorly that night after playing football and I was so scared of going through that situation again that I walked home to my mum's after school. It was a seven mile walk. I was 11 or 12 years old, I hadn't told anyone where I was going, I didn't have a phone and I just walked back alone in the evening. I mean, when I think now, I would have been livid if that was my child, I, you, you wouldn't know what to think, you'd be fresh, you'd be so worried, but I was so scared, I, I just couldn't bear the thought of, of going to my dad's, even though I knew I might not be safe walking home, I, could, I just was terrified. Then as I got a bit older, to the age of sort of 14, 15, 16, I made a great group of friends and they made me feel great about myself. So my phobia, because life had improved, both my parents had remarried, uh, my phobia took a bit of a back burner. It was still there, but it wasn't in the forefront of my mind all the time. I felt, because I was enjoying myself so much, I felt great around these friends and they made me happy. But then when we all started college, the whole drinking scene started. And that's when I realised how much it was still affecting my life. I stopped going to parties. If I did go to a party, I'd always find a reason to not be the one who I had to look after. <laughs> my friend who was sick, or um, if they were sick, I'd find a reason to leave early, or I'd run away without them noticing. It was all, uh, I was always a bit sort of on edge of anyone knowing really I had this phobia. They kind of knew, some of my friends knew a little bit, probably not to the extent that it ruled my life. I was very good at hiding my fear of it, or making it discreet, should I say, because of the sort of social anxiety that came with it for me. Um, then I got a place at university to do fashion design. I was obviously really excited about it and I I was obviously struggling with my anxiety when I met my now husband and he made me feel calm and I felt safe with him and I didn't feel anxious around him because I loved him so much and I just couldn't bear the thought of being away from him. I didn't know how I would cope. I was so nervous of the whole drinking scene and living in halls, having to share bathrooms with people. I was so nervous about that and to do that without my my husband with me I was just terrified I just so I deferred my place for a year I wasn't going to go at all I was going to stop and my husband my wonderful husband said to me look Ree, let's defer your place for a year and I'll come with you 
and he sacrificed three years of his life to come with me just so I'd do my degree uh, and we rented a flat together so I felt safe so I didn't have to be in halls and then uh, as much as I enjoyed doing my degree I always felt a bit on the outskirts of the class I would never go I never once went out drinking with them not once I always made an excuse not to there was always a reason even if they'd always ask me they were so lovely and I just I must have seemed quite ungrateful but I was so scared of being out with everyone drinking just walking to university and seeing vomit on the floor I found terrifying uh, all the stomach bugs came out uni students I just found it all very hard and I got to a point where I was really struggling I was washing my hands till they were red raw I was waking up having panic attacks in the night being like I was about to be sick I wouldn't open doors I wouldn't use public toilets I stopped eating an awful lot I wouldn't eat out in a restaurant at all I certainly wouldn't eat meat in a restaurant and then the doctor put me on anti-anxiety meds put me on citralopam and referred me to have exposure therapy after seeing a counsellor which didn't really help me much the anti-anxiety meds made me feel a lot better I felt so much more in control and felt willing to go through exposure therapy my exposure therapy lasted for a year and it did help to some extent because it got me almost adjusted slightly to seeing other people being sick I um, I could look at photographs of people being sick and I started to be able to listen to some sounds of people being sick and I could watch the odd video but I only became used to those certain videos and those certain pictures if someone then threw a different video in front of my face I would have panicked just as much because I didn't know what to expect and my poor husband he had to watch every single video and look at every single picture out with me out the room before I would even consider looking at them uh, it was quite terrifying really and it was horrible for him horrible I can't believe he did that for me um, and then I felt quite good and I decided to come off my tablets and suddenly realized I just was not the exposure therapy hadn't done much at all I suddenly was having four or five panic attacks a night I was terrified I became became I became scared of going to sleep and I had to have sedatives. I hadn't slept in three nights and I had to have sedatives to make me sleep. And I had to start using hypnotherapy to calm me down when I woke. Uh, but anyway, eventually, I'll, I will move on now and get to the five. Eventually, life improved. Um, and I got married and I felt pregnant. And the morning sickness hit and I just struggled. I was having antiemetic tablets four times a day. I was doing everything possible to try not to vomit from morning sickness. And then I got made redundant at 12 weeks pregnant and I hit rock bottom. I was just terrified all the time. My husband was working all the time and I practically spent six months of my pregnancy inside the house. I didn't want to leave the house. I was so scared of catching a bug. Um, I just became miserable. I remember going to doctors at one point and saying, I don't know if I can do this. I was starting to question whether I even wanted this baby because I was so unbelievably terrified. The terror I would experience each morning when I woke up feeling sick was just like someone was running down the street after me with a knife. <laughs> but eventually things improved a bit. I got obviously started to feel better, I wasn't suffering with the morning sickness, and obviously then I started to appreciate a little bit the fact I was carrying this beautiful baby inside of me and obviously I realised when I gave birth to him he was he was worth it all I would have done it again twice over just to have him in my arms but I was never myself after that I struggled with emetophobia a lot for the fifth he's two just turned two and I struggled the whole time in December I got so so bad that I had to go back on tablets and I just accepted that was how I was going to be nothing would work it was just something I would have to live with in my life anyway so I've babbled on a bit there but I feel it's important people know how bad I was to hear and believe the difference and believe how much this book will change your life so I bought the Curie Metaphobia and Thrive book um, my friend Katie who's recently done it she bought it and she told me to watch Rob's 
video from he did from the cure of Eurometrophobia and five seminar and i watched it and i realized in just the hour of watching this video how much this guy knew he'd done his research i learned more about myself and this phobia in in just that hour than in the sort of 26 years i'd had it and all the counselors and cbt i'd seen and all the research i'd done so after Katie had been doing the book for a week or so, I bought the book and I, within two chapters, I felt great. I knew more about myself than I'd ever imagined. I could see how I was doing this to myself and I could see how mean I was being to myself. I was so self-critical. I was just awful to myself. I would judge myself so much. I would never praise myself for anything. I was horrible to myself. I mean, I had so much social anxiety to do with my phobia. When I'd run away from someone being sick, I would feel like such an awful person. And I'd feel so guilty and ashamed of myself. I'd feel like I almost deserved to be punished. I deserved to be hurting for being such an awful person, for running away from someone who I loved when they were poorly. I felt horrible. I had so much so many horrible feelings that came with it i just felt i just felt horrible so obviously i learned all that about myself and i realized this has got to change i'm doing this if i'm doing this i can change it and uh, i carried on with the book and i decided to come off my tablets and i came off them in just two weeks whereas before it took me a whole year to wean off them two weeks i came off them i didn't feel any more anxious i didn't feel any more depressed i felt fantastic and now after doing the book I don't even own a hand gel I was using hand gels constantly I don't have any sickness tablets in the house I don't wear anti-sickness pressure wristbands I take my son out all the time I don't worry about washing my hands constantly I don't wash them to a red raw I'll eat in restaurants I don't mind having some drinks with friends I if I see vomit on TV, I don't even flinch. It doesn't matter if it takes me by surprise, I don't even flinch. Not only has the book cured my metaphobia, it's had the added bonus of just making every aspect of my life better. I am enjoying life more. My my uh, self-esteem has gone up so much. I was so self-conscious. I felt so insecure, I was so worried my husband would leave me, I didn't feel worthy of my husband, I felt that bad about myself. I just felt so unattractive and horrible and I had such social anxiety, I was constantly worried about what other people would think of me in every situation. And now I don't have any of those things, I'm taking risks, I'm enjoying life, I, I make myself happy now, I don't rely on the next thing coming along like a wedding or a day out or a day that my husband's got off I firmly believe now that I have the power to make myself happy and I have the power to control um, anxieties because I was causing them and the book will teach you all of that I mean don't think it's just a book where you just read it and that's it you're cured you feel better you have to put the time in you have to put the effort in you have to complete the actions Rob says and do them properly and do them thoroughly if you put the work into this book, you will get the results. It will change your life and you would not regret it. Uh, I would recommend to anyone suffering with a metaphobia or just general anxiety, self-esteem issues, depression, to buy his other book, Just Thrive. It's changed my life and I feel I owe everything to this book. And I look forward, I'm just excited for my future now. Uh, I hope this book is helpful. I hope my review, my testimonial is helpful and I hope that it gets people buying this book. You won't regret it. Thank you. Bye.